Yo, what's up guys, Tanmay for Simple Snippets, back with another video tutorial on Core Java Programming. So today's topic in Core Java Programming is Typecasting in Java Programming. So this is going to be a quick short video tutorial because this is not a very complex topic to understand. So let's start off with a little bit of theory and then we'll jump to the program example. So quickly open up our website that is simplesnippets.tech which is an official website. So under the courses, you can go under the core Java programming and you'll find this article of typecasting in Java programming or what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste this link in the video description. So you'll directly come to this article. So yeah, this is our official website guys. If you are new on this channel, if you have never seen any of my other videos, I have a lot of technology oriented videos. I have programming videos. So you can just check out the channel and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe guys. Also share it with your friends. So yeah, let's start off with today's topic that is typecasting in Java. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what exactly is typecasting in Java? So typecasting in Java is assigning a value of one type to a variable of another type. So yeah, that's basically typecasting in the most simplest form. So when you assign value of one data type to another, the two types might not be compatible with each other, right? So if data types are compatible, then Java will perform the conversion automatically known as automatic type conversion, which is also known as widening. And if not, then they need to be casted or converted explicitly, which is known as narrowing. Okay, so there are basically two types of typecasting. One is when the two types are compatible with each other. And one is when it's not compatible and you have to explicitly tell the Java program to do that typecasting or type conversion. So as I said, two types of typecasting known as automatic type conversion, which is also known as widening. And since it is implicit, that is the Java program handles this by, by default or by itself. You don't have to explicitly do anything. It's also known as implicit. The second type is narrowing, which is also known as explicit. So here's a diagram of automatic type conversion that is widening implicit versus narrowing. So you can see a byte can be converted to a short. A short can be converted to an int. Int can be converted to long. Long can be converted to float and so on and so forth till double. So this is implicit. And the reason why it is implicit is because byte is the smallest member and double is the largest member in terms of the actual size, right? So if you've been watching this playlist in the very beginning, we discussed Java variables and data types in a separate video tutorial, wherein we had those sizes, right? So let me just show that article. So this was that article we discussed and here are those different data types, right? So you can see the default size of each of these data types, right? So byte is one byte. Short is two bytes. Hence, a byte can be transferred to a short without any of the memory being lost, right? So a small number can be held into a larger memory space. So that's the concept used here. And that's why it is implicit. So the Java program knows that a number being stored in a byte variable can easily be accommodated in a new variable, which is of short type because short has a larger size. So it can easily hold that number, which is being held by a byte variable, right? So you're getting that point, right? So that's how automatic type conversion happens. It happens from the smallest sized data variable or variable type to the largest sized variable type. And then exactly opposite happens for narrowing, which is explicit. So it happens from the double to byte. So here we are trying to fit a larger number that is a larger data type into a smaller data type. So if you go to the variables and data type, you can see a double has a size of eight bytes but float has a size of four bytes. So if the number is very large, which only a double variable can fit. And if you're trying to put it in float, what will happen is the sum amount will be truncated. Truncated means it would not be held in the new variable. It will just be dropped. So this is why we have to explicitly do something or tell the program that we are trying to convert a larger type variable to a smaller type. So then we have a little bit of theory about widening or automatic type conversion. You can just read through it. So basically widening conversion takes place when two data types are automatically converted and this happens when the two data types are obviously compatible and when we assign of a smaller data type to a bigger data type. So that's what I was trying to explain over here. Then we also have an example. You can go through the example, but of course we'll see the program example. So then we have the next type that is narrowing or explicit type conversion. So if you want to assign value of larger data type to smaller data type, we perform this explicit type of casting or narrowing. So this is useful for incompatible data types where automatic conversion cannot be done. And here target specifies the desired type to convert the specific value to, which means that ultimately the target will specify what the data type will be. So again, we have an example. You can go through it. 
सो दिस वॉज अ शॉर्ट आर्टिकल शॉर्ट थियरी अबाउट टाइप कास्टिंग इन जावा लेट्स सी अ प्रोग्राम एग्जाम्पल एंड इट्स गोना बी अ वेरी स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल सो वॉट वील डू इज विल डिक्लेयर एन इंटीजर फर्स्ट आई एल सी इंट एक्स इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड एंड देन वॉट आई एम गोना डू इज एंड से डबल डी इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो वॉट आई एम डूइंग हियर इज ऑटोमेटिक टाइप कन्वर्जन दैट इज इम्प्लेसिट टाइप कास्टिंग ओके नाउ बिकॉज डबल वेरिएबल हैज अ लार्जर साइज इट डिड नॉट थ्रू अस एन एरर एंड इट ऑल्सो डिड नॉट टेक एनी एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट्स सो वी सिंपली हैड टू से डी इक्वल्स टू एक्स एंड द एक्स वैल्यू इज नाउ स्टोर इन डी एंड नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू प्रिंट द वैल्यू आई से डी कोलन एंड देन आई एम जस्ट गोन अपेंड डी इफ आई सेव दिस एंड इफ आई रन दिस सो यू कैन सी यर डी कोलन हंड्रेड डॉट जीरो सो दिस इज दैट डेसीमल पॉइंट ओवर यर यू कैन सी एंड देन वी हैव अ जीरो बिकॉज नाउ द टारगेट डेटा टाइप इज डबल राइट एंड डबल कैन स्टोर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट नंबर्स सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई द न्यू फॉर्मेट इज लाइक दिस सो इफ यू वर टू प्रिंट एक्स विच इज एन इंटीजर टाइप वी वुड नॉट हैव दैट फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट सो यू कैन सी इट्स हंड्रेड बट इफ आई एम सपो इफ आई एम प्रिंटिंग डी देन दैट न्यू फॉर्मेट इज बींग प्रिंटेड ऑफ द डबल डेटा टाइप ओके सो दिस वॉज इम्प्लिसिट टाइप कास्टिंग सिमिलरली नाउ वॉट वी कैन डू इज आई कैन अगेन क्रिएट अ न्यू इंटीजर एल से इंट वाई एंड इफ आई सी डी इट विल थ्रो एस एन एरर सो इट्स इट्स सेंग इन कंपेटेबल टाइप्स पॉसिबल लॉसी कन्वर्जन फ्रॉम डबल टू इंट विच मीन्स दैट द डबल डेटा टाइप कैन नॉट बी डिरेक्टली कन्वर्टेड टू एन इंटीजर डेटा टाइप एंड देर माइट बी सम लॉस ऑफ डेटा सो नाउ वॉट वील डू इज वील फर्स्ट से डी इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओके दिस इज द न्यू वैल्यू दैट इज बींग स्टोर इन डी लेट्स जस्ट फर्स्ट कट दिस आउट एंड ओके सो नाउ इट्स थ्रोइंग एन एरर ओवर यर सो नाउ वॉट वील डू इज वील से डबल सो दिस इज हाउ यू परफॉर्म टाइप कास्टिंग ओके एंड इट इट हैज टू बी इंट राइट या इट हैज टू बी इंट बिकॉज वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इट टू एन इंटीजर टाइप एंड स्टोरिंग इट इन वाई बिकॉज वाई इज ए इंटीजर टाइप एंड दिस इज हाउ यू परफॉर्म टाइप कास्टिंग यू हैव टू स्पेसिफाई इट इन ब्रैकेट्स बिफोर द वेरिएबल एंड देन जस्ट अलॉन्ग विद द वेरिएबल दिस कन्वर्जन हैपन्स सो नाउ वॉट वील डू इज वील फर्स्ट ट्राई टू प्रिंट डी We'll say system dot out dot print ln double d colon and then append d and then we'll also print int y colon and then we'll append y. So let's see how the values are printed. So there you go. You can see double d is hundred point five, which was the actual value. But now you can see int y is hundred. So the point five was truncated, right? Because integer data type that is int data type cannot store floating point numbers. So this is what I was telling. When a larger data type is converted to a smaller data type, some data might get truncated because integer cannot store it, right? So it just truncates or discards that value after the decimal point. So this is something that you need to take care of while performing explicit type casting, right? So yeah, you can try out other different data types also. You can try convert them explicitly, implicitly. You can try it out, and that's it for this video, guys. Check out the article for theory. and try some experiments and let me know in the comments how you find this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and i'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace